Hey everybody, how are you today? Pardon the ring light in my glasses, but I'm going to need my glasses to see the products that I'm going to show you today. So I ordered some products that were recommended by some of my favorite beauty channels. So um, I went ahead and I got this eye makeup now. This actually was not recommended, but I was looking for a eye primer, okay? Primers don't always have to be used, but they actually do help with your eyeshadow lasting a lot longer. Now, I'm afraid I may have gotten this concealer in the too, too dark of a color, but this is the Catrice True Skin High Coverage Concealer. This was recommended by, I believe it was Mrs. Melissa M. Beauty. I always watch her videos and I always see what her favorites are. I also watch Mandy Lee and both her and Melissa highly recommended this telescopic mascara. I got the washable kind, so it'll be interesting to see how this all looks. So right now I'm just gonna do my eyes, okay? And we're just gonna test out these products. So, first thing I'm going to do is go into this eyelid primer. Ooh, pretty. And I am just, oh, interesting. They call it transparent. But it's a nice base. It's, yeah, it's really nice. It's very creamy. So I am just going to put this on and let it dry down. It's a very nice cream. Most of the uh, eye colors that I've gotten are not this creamy, but this really feels nice on my eyes. So I am going to let that dry down. And we're going to try out this Catrice um, concealer and I looked at it and man, it looks a little bit dark for me. The normal, um, the normal rule of thumb is to get something a little bit lighter than your skin tone. But, well, it might work. I think I have decided that these dark spots on me are from my accident three years ago. And I think I'm, I'm just going to have them permanently. Because I actually fell on my face on the concrete. And the darkness never went away after my accident. So... So we're just going to put this couple of dots where I need it. And then I will take my e.l.f. concealer brush. Oh, it's not bad. I was afraid it would be too dark. Yeah, it's a little yellow. But I would think that once I put the foundation over it, it might not be so bad. I'm not going to do foundation today. I'm just trying out these products. Yeah, it's it's definitely yellow. I could definitely have used a different color. But, you know, it's hard, like everybody says, it's hard to figure out online what color is best for you. Oh, I like the way this goes on, though. It is so light. Wow. I love the consistency of it. I don't even feel it going on my skin. Wow. I'm not sure about high coverage. I, yeah. I'd have to um, put more on these dark spots for sure. It smells really nice. So, well, 
even though the color's not that great, I love the consistency of it. You can barely feel it on your skin. Barely feel it on your skin. Well, it's covering up that red spot pretty well. And um, one little trick that Melissa said um, on her channel one time, she said, put on your concealer and let it sit for a moment. And then you want to go back in. I didn't bring any sponges over here, or did I? No, I did not. But she recommended that let it sit for a minute and then just pat it in with the sponge to get it really deep in your skin. I absolutely love this. Very easy to put on. Very easy to put on. I don't even feel it on my skin at all. And I think that once I put foundation over it, it will definitely um, help that yellowness to go away. But man, I like this stuff. You can't even feel it on your skin, ladies. It's really, really nice. Again, this is the Catrice True Skin Concealer High Coverage. I would say that is definitely high coverage. It looks really good on my skin. If it was the right color, I know that it would look better. I will probably order another one with the lighter color because this really isn't good for my skin tone, but I love it. It is wonderful. doesn't even feel like you have anything on your skin. It's not even settling into my fine lines. I absolutely love it. So there is that. Now, this is still a little bit wet. I'm going to hold on for that for a little bit. And um, yeah, so this was $7 on Amazon. And I believe the this was about $8, I want to say. This um, eye, eyelid primer. Okay. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and give this a try. I think it's dried down enough. Now, a couple of years ago, a girlfriend of mine sent this to me for my birthday, and this is a high-end palette. This is from NARS, and I have very few high-ends. I've got this one from NARS, and I have a Natasha Denona. I've ordered another Natasha Denona that was on sale on Ipsy. So, um, yeah, because I do like Natasha Denona. They do have really nice formula. So what I'm going to do, I am just going to start out with, a, we've got a very, very light color right here. It's kind of like a, a sand color. So we're just going to start with that. I'm going to put that up in my crease. And I know that this is an expensive brand, but if you could ever afford it or, you know, look for sales, I absolutely love the NARS eyeshadows. They're very soft. They blend very easily. And you can see how nice it looks. I mean, this is more vibrant than I've ever seen as far as an eyelid primer and putting on makeup on top of it. I really like that. So next I am going to, let's see, well, I have that. This is really the only matte in here is this one and this very, very dark color right there. And then the other two are shimmers. So you have two shimmers, and then I've got this color. So what I'm going to do next is I am going to... I'm actually going to put the sand color, like, all over, I think. 
I'm not too fond of these very dark colors in here. I, I'm not really a dark person when it comes to eyeshadow. I like color. And so, yeah. It is showing up a lot brighter on my camera here than I'm seeing in person, but... Yeah, very, very pretty. And then I'm just going to go into this shimmer right here with my finger. And I'm just going to... My, my looks lately have been looking exactly the same, haven't they? Sorry about that. <laughs> it's just, these are perfect colors for my eyes, you know? But... All right. Very, very pretty. And I'm just going to Yeah, I'm just gonna um blend that all out and yeah, very pretty pretty. So um I don't get rid of high end stuff unless, you know, it really has gone bad. And to tell you the truth with eyeshadow um, you know, you can always revive it with a spritz of alcohol and it will sanitize everything. So you can actually give away eyeshadows if you want to, because all you have to do is sanitize them. And yeah, it's got a great little mirror in here, which is amazing. I really do like the way that came out. And then I'm going to get a little bit bold here. And I'm going to go into this dark color right here, the darkest color, and I'm going to put that on this little pencil brush, and put that on as an eyeliner. as close to my eyelashes as I can. And then, with this pretty little color right here, what some ladies like to do is they like to take a very bright color and put it right in their tear duct. And that helps to brighten up your eyes and it makes them pop a little bit. So there is that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is show you this telescopic mascara that is highly recommended by just about everybody that I watch. And I, my eyelashes are so sparse, you know, I always have a hard time with them. So. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The hype is real. Look how beautiful my eyelashes look. Wow. I am impressed. And they are not clumpy at all. They are lengthening my lashes. They are curling my lashes. Wow. I'm very impressed. This wasn't very expensive. I think the mascara was about eight, eleven dollars, if I remember. And it's an interesting. Um, it's like a rubber wand. And I am so impressed with it. Wow. That is really nice. I'd say this is the best mascara I've ever tried. Best mascara I've ever tried. 
I tell you, all of these products, I love every single one of them. The eyeshadow primer is fantastic. The Catrice concealer is fantastic. And the telescopic mascara is fantastic. Love it all. Love it all so much. Really, really highly recommend these products. And uh, there we go for today. And uh, I will see you next time on Makeup Monday. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.